what is going on guys and welcome back to the bot to build youtube channel um, as you guys can probably see behind me we've got the uh, truck which is dirty as hell by right now from all the salt and sand and stuff but uh, we got the truck hooked up to the car trailer that we just picked up and uh, me and my dad are going to take a ride on out to New Jersey. I bought a new car for the channel that uh, hopefully is going to be some pretty cool content for all of us. And um, we're just loading up now. We've got a pretty big snowstorm on its way in. We're going to try to beat it. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys along for the journey. I'm not going to tell you guys what kind of car it is. Go ahead and take guesses. You can leave that in the comments. And uh, the only thing I'll tell you is it is yellow. But um, we're going to head on out there and I will bring you guys along for the ride. All right guys, so we made it to our first rest stop here. It's the first time towing with the new trailer. I don't think I even showed you guys the new trailer. I picked it up used, I traded a uh, golf cart I had for. We weren't using the golf cart. It's nothing super fancy, but it definitely works. It's got a winch in the box. Um, it, it does the job. Didn't really need anything when we got it. It's got the built-in ramps in the back. I added some reverse lights. But uh, other than that, it was pretty much ready to go. Just greased it, threw some tires on it, and uh, it's gonna do the job for us. We're gonna see how much we use it this year as I was renting last year, as a lot of you guys probably had seen. Um, and I got tired of renting, so we figured we'd give this one a try. And if we start racing at more places and traveling a little farther, I'll probably end up picking up an enclosed. But this is my first trailer ever, so I figured gotta start somewhere and give it a try. So far, it's towing great. Um, I mean, it's super smooth, stays right behind the truck, and uh, it's been a pleasure to tow. So we're going to run in and get a coffee real quick, and we're going to get back on the road and head out towards the new car. All right, guys, so we're getting pretty close here. The weather's been holding out decent. We hit a little bit of snow uh, a little while ago, and he said it's snowing uh, where we're going to pick up the car. Um, we've been doing pretty good on fuel. Not sure if you guys can see that, but we're getting like 18.3 right now. Uh, the trailer is unloaded, so. But I'm curious to see what we're gonna get when uh, we get the car on there and we're on our way back. But we're getting pretty close here, so I will check back in with you guys when we get to the car. All right, guys. So we just got out here. I'm gonna go ahead and w take a walk into the garage with you guys and show you what the car is. This one's an 05, it was also a uh, LS2 car, six speed car. Um, it's got a lot of good parts on it. We're gonna end up using the red one for parts for this car. Um, it's a lot lower mileage, a lot cleaner. Um, it's gonna be a lot of work, but uh, for the blower, I think this car is gonna be a lot better option with how clean it is. But uh, when we go ahead and get this thing on the trailer and get it home, I'll give you guys a lot better look at it. All right guys, so as you can see, we got the car home. I didn't film too much on the ride home because uh, we had snow and the roads were pretty bad and it was just pretty crappy all the way around. We got back really late, so uh, I figured I'd go ahead and take a minute here and walk you guys through why we bought another GTO. So as you can see, obviously it's yellow, which is the perfect color for us. Um, this car is missing quite a bit and um, I'm gonna start with the interior here and show you guys. All the seats and everything are out of it. It does have a um, quick disconnect um, Grant steering wheel on it. The back seats are out, the seat belts. Pretty much everything is out of the inside of this car. Um, but as you guys know, we have the red one still. So the red one's got right around 160,000 miles on it. The body's in pretty rough shape. There's dings, dents, the paint's all messed up and everything else. And um, it's got some weird issues that I've been trying to chase down for quite a while now. So when we came across this one, this one's only got 40,000 original miles on it. It's also an original LS2 car and it was also an original six speed car. So for the price I got this thing for, it only made sense to me to take what we need out of the red car, swap it over to this car, do the uh, LSA while it's in this car for now, since I already have the heads and the cam spec'd for a um, positive dis displacement blower. So we're gonna do that and run it like that for a while until the stock LS2 engine gets tired or can't take it anymore, and then we're gonna change up the setup. Because, let me go ahead and show you guys up here too. Um, 
the previous owner did pull the engine out. Um, he had issues with the transmission, and I think he wanted to turn this thing into full race car mode. So he started pulling the thing apart, and you guys know how it is. Sometimes you just can't finish all the projects projects you want to finish. So it's got a lot of good parts, though. Um, he made the coil relocation brackets. Um, I'll show you guys later on, but it's also got some nice G-Force axles in it. Um, he's got some Profab uh, rear toe links or toe adjustment arms. Um, he's got two sets of those. It came with some um, axle stubs and uh, some other goodies like the steering wheel, um, a nice couple gauge pods for the inside of the car. And uh, there's a lot of good like parts on this car that are gonna make it worth what I paid for it alone. So for us, it just makes sense to switch everything out of the red one into this one and make this one the driver. Um, it came with the wheels, they're nothing too special. Um, I like them, but I'm probably gonna end up putting the Forge Stars back on it because I think the black will look really good. Um, and when I say he took this thing apart, I mean he took this thing fully apart. The fuel tank's out of it, which is all right because we had to do a fuel system in ours uh, anyways. So we have that extra fuel system or fuel tank. So we're gonna go ahead and mock that all up before we put it back in the car. Um, also, as you guys might have noticed, there's no brake system in this car whatsoever. So luckily we have the brand new brake system that i just put on the other car which i'll show you guys when we get to that point and we're going to swap all that over to this i'm going to make um make or buy some nice new hard lines to do all the new hard lines on this car um it's going to be a good amount of work don't get me wrong but i think with how clean this car is i think it's going to pay off in the long run to have a lower mileage car and it's going to match um, everything else so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one of the main reasons we did take this car it's probably not gonna show up too good on camera but the paint on this thing is basically showroom condition I mean he took really good care of this thing and it shows and the low mileage really helped it out too I mean we're losing over a hundred thousand miles versus my red one um, and then another thing I really liked about this car is all the wiring and the harnesses and everything are complete and not hacked up. Um, it's just a way better all around start for a build for us. The red car has had multiple owners and it's just been hacked to hell and back um, multiple times in multiple ways. I mean, I've had all kinds of wiring issues with that car and this is going to solve a lot of that problem for us so let's go ahead and open up this door here as i said we've got the uh profab chassis um toe arms we've got a set here and then a set already on the car both brand new we've got a set of the upgraded um axle stu uh hubs or um it came with the arp hardware as well so there's just a lot of good stuff on this car that we're going to be able to use so let's go ahead and take a look at the red one and see what we want to start taking off all right guys so as you know this is the red one that we have this is going to be basically going to turn into our donor car and um once we take everything that we need out of it, I will be selling it as a roller. Um, not going to be a whole lot left besides the shell, but it's not in terrible shape. And I like the color. I just like the yellow better and the mileage. So, But this is the fuel tank that we've got out of the yellow one. So it's going to work perfect for our new Walboro fuel pump. I can take this out and make our own brackets and everything, get everything prepped to go back in so that... When it is ready to go back in the car, the fuel system's basically going to be ready because um, as a lot of you guys know, we already have some fuel system stuff on this car. I'll go up here and show you. We've got the uh, Holly fuel rails with some um, injector dynamics 1050s in it. Um, we've got the catch can on it. Just a bunch of stuff that we can take off. We've got the LS3 um, heads. The Brian Tooley Stage 3 cam, the headers, just a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to be able to use on that car so that we can put the uh, LSA blower right on top of this combo and run it. It's also got the brand new um, McLeod 
RXT 1200 clutch with the aluminum flywheel that we just did not that long ago. So that's another reason why I just want to transplant what we have in here into that car because I don't want to go back through and do everything I just did again when I can just take this, put it in that, and have a solid running car. So I'll show you the interior on this one's pretty good too. I did have to do a few things with this interior a while back. You probably can't really see it, but all of these seats rip real bad right through here. So I had to sew that up. I had a custom suede headliner made to match some of the suede on the doors of these cars and the kick panels and stuff. So we are going to be taking the suede. We're going to take all the seats. We're going to take the rear seats, um, any little trim piece that we might need. I have a new panel that's going to go up there to replace this one because I have a nice gauge pod one that came with the other car. We're going to steal and wire up our shift light, um, our line lock and two step, obviously the short throw shifter, all that stuff's going to be coming with us. So let's, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and roll this car out and start getting to work on it. just not there and the mileage isn't there so it just makes sense to me for what I paid for the yellow one it makes sense to make one nice car out of the two of these um, it might be hard to see on camera I don't know if you guys can see that but it's all wavy and chipped right here from when the fenders were rolled it wasn't done all that well it was my first time ever trying it um, the other side came out really nice this side's all messed up and then it's just got pits and chips it's hard to tell without the light on it and i have it shined up halfway but it's just pitted and chipped and dings and dents all over this car it's a shame because i like the color but uh obviously i do like the yellow better all right guys so that's gonna go ahead and end it for this video i hope you guys are as excited about the new gto as i am i cannot wait to get the fuel system done i can't wait to get boost to that thing finally it's gonna be a really fun car when it's all said and done but if you guys, if any of you are interested in this red one as a roller when I'm done with it or any other type questions like that, go ahead and hit me up on Instagram. I'm pretty good about getting back to my messages on there. But like I said, guys, I hope you are really excited about this car as much as I am. And go ahead and ring that bell. Give me a like, a comment, anything helps, guys. Subscribe to the channel and we will catch you on the next one.